Tonight, a mother says her special needs seven-year-old son was beaten up by classmates as a teacher recorded it. A lawsuit filed against IPS and the boy's teacher alleges this happened at least three times. The child says the teacher held him as kids kicked and punched him. Our Chase Howell got that video and he also spoke with the family's attorney and he joins us now live in studio tonight. Chase, these are very disturbing allegations. What can you tell us about what you've learned? And Marie Scott, what I can tell you is the video is just hard to watch in general. What's even more troubling after reading this lawsuit is that seven year old boy told his mom that other teachers told him that special needs kids were demonically possessed and that he needed holy water poured on him to cure him of his evil. In this cell phone video, you can see a child on top of his classmate hitting him in the face. Behind the child's cries for help, you can hear a man say, Get him. That voice the family believes was the boy's teacher. Are you done yet? That's the teacher saying that to these children as he's beating up on this little boy. Are you done yet? It's shocking. The 31 page lawsuit details what the seven year old allegedly endured over the course of three months. One paragraph states he was struck, slapped and hit in the head repeatedly. Two times the boy claims his teacher held him while students punched, hit and kicked him. It appears that this was being used as a disciplinary technique in his classroom. Um, instead of beating a child senseless himself, you know, at least according to what we have, he was allowing another child to do it. Also named in the lawsuit, a substitute teacher who was assisting in the classroom. Court documents claim the sub may have witnessed some of the abuse and didn't report it. The substitute teacher, at least in recorded in the DCS documents, said that's bad kids and that's what you do. And so rather than being trained as mandatory reporters, rather than stopping abuse happening in a classroom, um, we're, we're seeing people within this school district that has a responsible responsibility to train educators, to supervise educators, allowing them to basically run amok. The boy's mom claims she alerted both the principal and vice principal of George Washington Carver School number 87. She states she had parent teacher conferences with her son's teachers. All of them, she says, brushed off the claims or placed the blame back on her son. She says it was at one of those parent teacher conferences where she saw proof of her son's claims. And the teacher sh says he's going to show her a video of the classroom showing the classroom environment. As he's scrolling through his phone, he accidentally clicks on this video, thinking it's obviously we assume a different video. When she sees her, it's her child on the floor being hit, she tries to grab the phone from his hand, as we understand it. Um, and in doing so, the volume goes up. And that's where she hears, get him, you know, hit him. Um, and she realizes it's the teacher's voice. Whether the teacher could face criminal charges, the family's attorneys say it's up to the prosecutors. We are seeing in some of these cases that uh, charges aren't being filed for over a year. So just because charges haven't been filed yet does not mean they're not going to be filed. Uh, it could still happen. And I just got an email at 553 from IPS mm -hmm. and they said that the teacher involved or allegedly involved in this incident has not or I should say resigned as of November 2nd and has not been back on property or in the classroom since October 31st. And at this hour, the Marion County Prosecutor's Office has not received an investigation from law enforcement. But since learning about this, they have reached out to those involved in the investigation. But just to be clear, the person who is accused, the teacher in this case, no longer is employed by IPS tonight. Correct. They said that he resigned before they had uh, were able to do those termination proceedings. OK, thank you so much. Chase Howe reporting tonight. Appreciate it. Now, DCS, we reached out to them, but they would not comment on on the case, but said that anyone who suspects child abuse should report it immediately. We've got the reporting hotline and a link to the reporting website all posted for you right now. It's on WTHR.com.